Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, add three-fifths plus an x over eight. Well, we want to find the LCD, least common denominator, of our two fractions. So let's break down the multiples of each one of the denominators. <clears throat> five, or the, the factors of each denominator. Five just is a five. Eight is a two times a two times a two. And then again, if you need help doing this part here, we have other videos on the least common denominator. Well, lined up here, LCD, let's line up our numbers. Two comes down here, two comes down here, two comes down here and then bring down the five. Two times two times two is an eight, times five is a 40. And so the least common denominator of our two fractions here is a 40. So let's go rewrite these fractions out here. Three fifths here. Well, five times a two times two times two gives me the 40, which is an eight. Two times two times two is an eight. And so three times an eight in the numerator here plus same process with the x over the 8. Don't get tricked up by the variable. Keep following our same rules here. To get 40, we take the 8, we have to multiply it by just the 5, the only uh, factor that's missing here. So do the same thing to the x. Let's go rewrite this out. 3 times an 8 is a 24 over 5 times 8, which is a 40, like it's supposed to be. x times 5 is a 5x. And 8 times 5 is a 40. From there, look, like we wanted, we have a common denominator of 40. So, 40 in the denominator, numerator is a 24 plus a 5x. Now, 24 and 5x both are not like terms. So we can't combine them, so we're actually done here. 3 fifths plus an x over 8 simplifies to be a 24 plus 5x over 40. I hope you learned something here on how to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.